But I found this cool thing. Now this, I definitely want to keep. But I think he can, we can make the small cupcakes, put them on one layer, and then have the top layer for another set of cupcakes. So, I guess last night we were able to see the Aurora Borealis here in Florida. Um, I didn't know anything about it last night, otherwise I would have been outside. Definitely outside tonight, because I don't want to miss it. <laughs> I started making cupcakes. It is Teacher Appreciation Week and my aunt suggested cupcakes for the teachers, which is awesome. So cool. I don't mind doing that at all. And um, I had just enough eggs to start the first batch. But then I didn't have the right holders. So now I'm on my way back to the store to get additional cupcake holders and additional eggs. Alright, so I think I got everything. I got eggs. I got everything, I think. Let's hope. But I found this cool thing. Now this, I definitely want to keep. But I think he can, we can make the small cupcakes, put them on one layer, and then have the top layer for another set of cupcakes. I definitely want that back, though. But it's really cool. It fits the larger ones, too, so you can just pull them out of there. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. So I have a dilemma. My brother is 16 years older than me. We didn't grow up together. And I really don't know what his birthday is. And I don't know how to ask. And I just don't know how to go about that. Like, do I randomly call his wife and ask her? Because I don't know. Um, we're not really close. He's a good person. He's a really good person. But we didn't grow up together. And so like there's all these gaps and I'm so appreciative to him that I don't even know how to express it. But I always feel so bad because I don't know what his birthday is. Now, on the flip side of that, he sends me a message today and he tells me, Happy early birthday, Alex. Now, Alex's birthday was a week ago. And I'm just grateful that he remembers that a birthday is anywhere nearby. But, I don't know how to ask him what his birthday is. Is that weird? I feel weird about it. It's one of those few things that I'm very weird about in life. So, I'm very careful not to post about work. I want to be very careful because I am a single parent raising my child and I enjoy my job. I love where I work, but I recently applied for a different job there, another role that popped up. And about a week and a half ago, I was told I didn't get it. And I believe I'm fully qualified to do so. I think it was personalities, which is the reason why I didn't get it. Um, so I'm a little bitter about that. And I'm also a big believer that bigger and better things come on. But this is the job that I wanted since I started there. As soon as I found out this role was coming up, I wanted it. But I was told that it wouldn't become available. They weren't no longer going to fill that role. And so I applied for my role when it popped up. But I really wanted that role. Wait through. You are? Yeah. Is that one tray or do you have two trays there? Okay, almost a quarter there. <laughs> you want to grab that one out? Hey, Alice. Yeah. The cupcakes that you fill up like that are perfect. These ones are a little too full because they're going to rise. Uh oh. That's okay. That's okay. Is it going to rise that much? Like to a point where it's going to spill? Well, it'll go over. Want me to hold that while you're getting out? Do you need help with the door? So now I'm on my way to work. Gotta make
make a couple more signs. Um, they got a Kennedy Space Center trip coming up, a couple other fun things. And what else? I have a meeting today. Okay. Alex grabbed the wrong keys this morning. And he is in the other car, so I'm gonna go get him. Lily's coming today. Come on. Let's go. We're going to that car. Mm. How are you? Good. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you, baby. Love you too. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. I don't actually get to drop him off often in this car with Lily, so that's fun. And I really haven't gotten the opportunity to pick him up often, so I'm excited. Today I'm taking my aunt to a couple of appointments. I think I'm going to pop into work and I'm just off today. So we finished with Aunt Sandra's appointments and now we're at Walmart. We picked Alex up from school and came straight here. We're gonna go back home and I think I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. I'm sleepy. I never laid down earlier this morning when I went to because I literally, I did that clip and then something happened and I couldn't. So I only got like five hours sleep last night. So anyway. I think we're gonna go shopping tonight. It is 8.30 at night and that's the sky. I guess last night we were able to see the Aurora Borealis here in Florida. Um, I didn't know anything about it last night, otherwise I would have been outside. Definitely outside tonight because I don't want to miss it. The sky is gorgeous. The sun actually set over 20 minutes ago and this is what it looks like right now. Crazy. And I have a time lapse going here. I'm sitting out here and I'm letting my phone do its thing. It's over there and it's it's doing a time lapse. According to online, the sunset was supposed to happen at 8.02. I don't think what we're seeing right now is the Aurora Borealis. I cannot say it properly. Sorry. Um, I think this is just sunsets later than what expected. I don't know. Anyway, doing a time lapse because it's cool. I'm gonna wrap this up as soon as it stops being cool. And then I'm going to go back inside until later when it's darker and try again. So this is a little while later and there's nothing that we can see and I've tried a couple different cameras so I just may not be at the right time of day or rather night. Um, oops, come on, let's go. So I think that's where that stands. Okay, never mind. I know, it moved, huh? Yeah. It's a pretty night though. but. No pretty colors in the sky. And I know they're only supposed to be seen in my area through a cell phone, so, or through cameras, so not just a cell at? phone. Um, Aurora Borealis is supposed to pop up Aurora Borealis. over there. You're supposed to be able to see it using your phone or a camera. And Why can't we see it? I think, with a I think it's just because of how it refracts and everything. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, we're not seeing it. I'm probably not going to be staying up tonight. But it was cool to see that sunset. I think that's what that was. My aunt thinks that was part of the Aurora Borealis, but I'm not so sure. I said, do you ever 
do whatever that is? What? Yeah. No. <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you Good luck on your test today. So Alex was refilling our fluids this morning. Um, there's, I don't know, coolant or something. I have no idea. I don't remember. I buy the stuff and then I forget. <laughs> but anyway, he was refilling that this morning. It has a small leak, so about once every two weeks we have to fill it. And since today we're driving to the next town over, I definitely wanted it filled. Um, so, anyway, I forgot my camera, this camera here, at home yesterday, so I didn't record at all. Normally I start recording, hmm. but it was a good day. I, um, I went to the pawn shop on my lunch break yesterday, and I found a new laptop, um, it's a gaming laptop, and see, right now I've had a MacBook Pro M1. 2020, 256 gigabytes. Um, it's been a great little computer, but honestly, I don't use it. I just don't use it. I use it occasionally for stuff that I have to, but I don't really use it at all. So, um, and I can't do the things that I really, really want to do on it, which I want to edit video games on it. So I purchased the other laptop, which is an MSI, remember GL66 MSI I don't remember what the name name of it was but anyway purchased that sold my MacBook so I gotta clean up my MacBook so I can ship it out um, it's nice I love it see I bought my kid one about a year ago these MSI laptops and it's been a really good computer for him um, he's built some games on it um, it works for everything he needs it for and he loves it. And I love the Apple ecosystem, but if I'm totally honest, I don't use this laptop a lot. I really just don't. Um, it doesn't have enough memory for me to edit video on. It doesn't have enough memory for me to store a bunch of stuff on. I hate working off of hard drives all the time because that's another thing to carry. Um, so, I use my iPad to edit my videos, and yeah, I'm very happy with this decision because now I can take my laptop and do games. Now at McDonald's, having breakfast after the appointments. Then we're going to go to Publix, and then I think I'm going to work. Hello. This baby, huh? Fock and Lily before heading off to work. I'm getting off work and I'm on my way home. And it's been a good day. I had an event tonight. It was good. I had a lot of participants, which is fantastic because I always get so nervous that nobody's going to participate. And that just wasn't the case. Thanks for warming up the car. Oh, that's interesting. Do you mind if I vlog? Can I give you some examples first? Yeah. Uh, well, the main reason why there is a common stereotype for stormtroopers, can you guess what that stereotype is? What? They're bad at aiming. Yeah. That's only because they're giving multiple warning shots. Oh, okay. That's funny. While the rebels, they just shoot you with no warning. <laughs> with no remorse. In fact, they don't even show any remorse after destroying two battle stations. Really? Each holding millions of people in. Well, yes, one of them did destroy a planet. That was because they were technically the people there on the. Love you, baby. Love you too. Have a great day. You too. See you later. Why is there a duck? He was crossing the street. 